All right, I'm on hole number nine of the Coast to Coast Tournament. I'm in Monday's qualifying round in the rookie division. I normally use this for practice, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I thought, what the heck, I'll just, I'll just qualify today. So we're on City Park hole number six. Now, here's the deal. I started off the week. I started off the week and I did my walkthrough and I told everybody that I, I really wanted to give this hole a second look. In the past, I've hit down into this area. And you can hit anywhere kind of in this range right here, especially if you're on this side of the line or right along that line. And from here, with a big dog, you can get up. Now, you can bounce over the sand. And a lot of times what I've done is come out into this area right here and then just brought it up over here to the side, laid it up, and then chipped on for eagle. And I've done this shot, I don't know how many times. How many times has this hole been in a tournament? Let's see. How many times has this hole been in a tournament? Three times. <sighs> At least the New York tournament and the Festive Cup, that's exactly how I hit it. When it was out in the Christmas tournament, the very first year, it was 2017, this hole came out. And these holes came out. They, they weren't City Park at that time. They renamed them later. They renamed them for that New York tournament to City Park. But originally, they were just the Christmas holes. And they had snow and stuff on them and they blew <laughs> because at that point, everybody still had marginal middle, middle, middle tour club, middle level clubs. And this is a tough course, tough course. And so at that time, when this hole first came out, I, I, this was the way. I mean, because it was somewhat consistent. You could get up there with your big dog. You could limp up here. You could get you could get yourself an eagle and go home pretty consistently. I tried at that time trying to just hit it straight forward. And I, I got caught in this rough. I don't know how many times. And I got caught in this rough. I don't know how many times. And I didn't have a Nirvana. And if you're down here in the rough and you don't have a Nirvana, you're sunk. Because, I mean, think about it. From over here, it's a big dog to get on. So it's every bit of your, every bit. Every bit of your wood to get on from here. So if you're out in this area, it's it's a long iron. And so you better have a long iron in your bag. So if you don't have a Nirvana, you're not using an Amazon. And I'm not even sure an Amazon, unless it was up or developed, would work on this hole because I don't think it has enough topspin. So if you don't have a Nirvana in your bag, you might be in trouble. If you got a maxed out Nirvana, maxed out Razor, um, then you're talking about some distance. If you've got some of those epics that are up there, if you've got the one... 31 35 in distance you should be able to get up but i've got better clubs now so i'm gonna try i'm just i i tried laying up here at the top in the practice in the practice session i came up and i laid up here in the top and coming at it it's not that bad of a deal it's kind of tricky to get to the spot that you want to up here it's real it's close I mean, you gotta get you gotta get up there and then you've got a big dog coming in and I found what the big dog is, is it seems like you need to put a little bit more topspin on it, but it takes it takes two or less. It's two or less topspin. It seems like it's more, but you don't want to put much on it, and it takes a lot of curl. So that's one of the reasons why a big dog is so cool is because it has lots of topspin, it has lots of curl, it's got lots of distance. The ball guide blows, but everything else on it's really good. And so when I was in this area, I put on less than two topspin, max curl, brought it around to the cup. But it, you have zero shot at an alley. And it is difficult to get up here. And if you miss this and end up blowing into this rough, I don't care whether you have a Nirvana or not. It's going to be tough. Your only shot here, if you have a Nirvana, is to try and get up here on the top and you can do the same kind of shot. But I'm going to try just blasting it down and getting it down in here and see what it looks like. I'm not sure what that shot will entail because I haven't done that shot. And I haven't done that shot. I haven't done that shot. In a long, 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 long time. Because in the past, I always got caught up in the rough because I only had like an extra mile six or an extra mile seven. And it's hard to get down there if you've got lower developed stuff. Big Topper might actually work better if you've got lower developed stuff. I'm going to bring a Titan. The King of Balls. Got lots of them. Let's practice it. The deal is, is I'm on the last hole. I haven't fully committed. I I have not fully committed. If I tank this hole, if I forfeit this hole, 
while we're out on the course and get the bogey, it'll knock me out of the top 10 and I won't qualify today. So I could not qualify today if I feel like if I get into some serious trouble and I can't make it, I can let my opponent get up there and I can tank the round and forfeit. So we will see. And then do it again. Because I didn't pick up. There's some low-hanging fruit at the beginning of this, this tournament. A hole number one, hole number two. There's there's some fruit here that we can pick up. And I haven't picked up any of that stuff. Hole number six, that par five is definitely albiable. Hole number seven, that par three is definitely hole one -able. And you can take the shot going over there, either from the top or from that lower pad. But I always had more difficulty trying to hit it from the lower pad than I did from the upper pad. But the course does not lend itself to trying to get you into the right spot. See how everything wants to go to the left right there? Man, that shot does not look like it's set up right, but they set it up almost anticipating the wind and then did another wind adjustment. So it's hard to tell where they were going. But I can say that they're too far to the left and they're not far enough out. And they're going to have a very difficult shot from there, especially with a quasar. So let's see what it looks like when we just run it out. It's going to run it out there. Three, five, three, five. I'm going to do a four. I'm going to do a four mile an hour pull. That's a two ring pull. Because that is way downhill. That's a 10%. And I hit it great to the left, which added on another 10%. And in the rough. I'll have to work on that if I want to. I put on all the tops to see where it would where it would put me out there. And I could probably take a little bit of that top spin out. I'd rather take a little bit of the top spin out and pull it back a little bit. I'd rather take a little bit of the top spin off than to pull it back a little bit and put max top spin. Although when you put on max top spin, if you do clip that rough, you're more apt to get yourself out. The more top spin you have, the more apt you are to get out. If they leave that, boy, that's that's they they can get up there. Get it perfect, buddy. There you go. Let's see if you can get that. Let's see if you can recover there. Excellent. Looks like they put themselves in a spot to make it. They gave themselves an opportunity. Let's see where I'm at here. No going forward, so I'll have to come at it from this direction. There's not really any trying to get closer to the cup. I'll leave myself as much room as I can on that sand. Three, four. There's three, four. Let's see if we can get that right. Hitting it perfect. Pretty much the same area my opponent's in. On the fairway. I think I will qualify today. I think I will. Maybe. We shall see. See if my opponent can get in the hole. Really wanted to come in with better than a minus 12, but minus 12, that's a solid round. Didn't pick anything up, left a lot on the table. Everything. Oh, my. Oh, my. That 
is not good. That is bad. Okay, from this distance, wind should not play a factor, but I'm going to hedge my bet a little. Go a little bit on that side of the cup, like split the difference. The deal is if wind's not a factor, if wind is not a factor and I hit a great to the left, it won't go in the hole. Hit it great to the right. In the hole. Wind was not a factor. Good game. Good luck in the tournament. All right, coming in with a minus 12. Uh, that's really, I think, what, we're, what I'm shooting for is... It's not quite as bad as it's been the last few tournaments where you need to shoot a minus 15, but I think a minus 14 is minus 15 is obviously a monster is a great score. Anything better than that minus 16, any of those scores are awesome. I think to win this tournament, what we're really looking at, you know, to give yourself an opportunity is if you're at minus 28 or better, you put yourself at least in the hunt, depending on your bracket, um, you're in the hunt for a banner. If not a win at minus 28, if you shot better than a minus 28, I think you you put yourself in serious position to win. Because of the fact that we've got hole number three, which is a super hard eagle to get, even though it's a par five, it's a super hard eagle to get. Um, I'm, we're going to see some brackets that are minus 25, right there in the 26 that are going to, you know, you could get wins just depending on your bracket. So it's really going to be, this is going to be a tournament that getting in a, getting in a good bracket is going to be really important. Um, but I don't think that we're going to have to shoot the minus thirties that we've been seeing in the last, I, it's been at least the last three or four tournaments where you had to shoot a minus 30 to have any shot at a win. I don't think that that's going to be the case this time. I think really we're probably in the minus 28 or better. If you shoot minus 30, then you're just on top of the game. And there's definitely opportunities out there on this course to get that done. There's also some holes that do not lend themselves to picking up shots. So you have to take the best advantage that you can on those holes, that uh, those low hanging fruit holes, hole number two, hole number one, hole number seven, hole number four, hole number six, that, that, that par five is very albiable. Um, there are some opportunities out there, but some of the holes are definitely going to play a little bit difficult. This hole right here does not lend itself to getting Albi, although there will be people this week that get Albi on it. There's going to be a lot more people who end up with a birdie than with the, with an Albi. So um, just staying ahead and not making mistakes on these holes will put you in really good position. All right, that was the uh, Coast to Coast Tournament Monday qualifying for my 77 account. Um, hopefully everybody's having a good time um, playing. Um, stay safe out there, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.